Well, if you ever wondered what it's like living on Palm Beach Island, if that's the case, this video is for you. My name is Ray Fernandez. I am with Living in Palm Beach, Florida, powered by eXp Realty. Welcome. If this is the first time to our channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button there over in the corner. While you're at it, ring that bell. What that's gonna do is help notify you each time we put out a new video. We put out videos every single week. So if you're interested in knowing what it's like to eat, sleep, and drink here in Palm Beach County, Florida, and South Florida as a whole, this channel is for you. 16 years ago, my family and I relocated to this beautiful part of the world we call Palm Beach, Florida and South Florida, and we absolutely love it. Today, we truly find it an honor to help people, perhaps like you, do exactly the same thing. So if you're thinking about moving to South Florida and you have questions, you wanna know what's involved from people who have actually done it before? Well, there's a couple of ways to get a hold of us. Down below is our email address. That's one great way. Also on the screen, you have our phone number. You can either call or text that number. Um, two of the great best ways to get a hold of us is you can schedule some time in, through the uh, comment section or in description uh, or in the description there. Uh, you can click on that link. Once you click on that link, that'll help schedule us our, our some time to either have a phone call or a Zoom call, whichever you feel more comfortable. In any case, we have your back when it comes to relocating to here to sunny South Florida. We have helped so many people relocate to here in Palm Beach and in South Florida, and we absolutely love it. This week, we're gonna look at one of the more unusual places to live in the world, Palm Beach Island. So South Florida, within South Florida, within the Miami metro area, so I'm talking about Southeast Florida, um, the most Northern county is, uh, is Palm Beach, and Palm Beach is literally named after this island, uh, Palm Beach Island. There's a lot of history when it comes to this island. Some of the richest people in the world will come here uh, during the season. So uh, the season here in, in Palm Beach and in South Florida as a whole, uh, pretty much starts around Columbus Day, so the middle of October, and goes right through about the end of April. There is no place more seasonal in our area, or perhaps in any place in the more in the United States, than here on Palm Beach Island. During the summertime, let's call it during the, the off season here, they will have a population here on the island of about 9,000 people. But once the season begins, uh, populations literally almost triple. You have population, we have a population in the season of over 25,000 people. Now, Palm Beach gets its name, it gets sort of, an, and there's an allure to it, um, like it's the home of the uh, the rich and famous. Life, remember the show, Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous? Well, that's when people think when they think of Palm Beach. And there's things like this. I'm not sure how well you can see it in the distance there. Um, there's a uh, there's the Breakers Hotel. Now, the Breakers Hotel is, you know, like if you go like this time of year, here we are in, uh, in March, April, uh, you will pay thousands of dollars to stay in that hotel. They have uh, some of the most biggest celebrities stay there. And uh, so what you'll see is you'll, lot, you'll see a lot of people actually people watch and all that, but it's, it really is an exquisite hotel. And I'll give you a little bit of a pro tip. I've gone there for, uh, for breakfast and for meals and they have great restaurants in there. But uh, one of the things, if you wanna enjoy, you know, take your family. I, what we've done in the past is, and shh, don't tell too many people, you valet your car up there, you spend, an spend the afternoon, look at the beach, Go to go to have a you know go to have lunch and so forth. Um, it's a great way, so you don't necessarily have to uh, um, stay in the hotel to actually enjoy some of the amenities that the hotel brings. So yes, we what the people that come down here for the season we call them snowbirds, and uh, we uh, we say there's a saying here in Florida when it, when the fall comes, at most places in the country uh, the the leaves change. In Florida, it's more like the license plates change. And I find it quite unusual. I, I learn a lot from uh, from watching the license plates. So as as the season begins and we see different states, uh, people from different states come down here. I've noticed some changes lately. Uh, there are diff different states are coming down here than used to be. We are seeing more and more people here from other areas that are perhaps looking to live here. Places such as Washington State, California, uh, Nevada. So places that are not typical for snowbirds, uh, the typical snowbird uh, d places are places like New York, New Jersey, uh, maybe Ohio and Illinois, um, but we're seeing more and more uh, 
different states come here to be snowbirds and or consider or considering having Florida to make that their full-time home. So as I said, some of the uh, richest people in the world live on this island. Um, so when you think Palm Beach, don't think of uh, Palm Beach real estate. It's not all like this. The average price of a home in Palm Beach County is 535,000. Now here we are sitting on literally the fourth most expensive zip code in the United States. Um, we have homes here that are that can go up to somewhere up to fifty million dollars. What's funny about that is a lot of people here are uh, they their homes are second homes to them, believe it or not. Um, so you'll see a lot of these homes in the uh, summertime. If you uh, if you go down the beach, and we'll we'll, we'll do that a little bit later. Um, we go down Ocean Boulevard and look at some of the condos, which obviously aren't going to be as expensive as some of the uh, $50 million places, but you'll see them all shuttered up. When I say shuttered up, I mean with hurricane shutters. Because this place is so seasonal, what people will do is once, they're, once they leave to go north or wherever they're going to, perhaps even another country, um, they'll put their hurricane shutters and they actually allow that here in Palm, on Palm Beach Island where most places, a lot of places around Palm Beach, they will not allow that because they don't want it to look like it's uh, all shuttered up and abandoned. But here they allow it because there's so many seasonal people. So when they leave, let's say beginning of May, they put their shutters up, go away, and they come back in, in October. That's how seasonal Palm Beach Island is. So when it comes to the weather, the hurricanes are certainly an obstacle. We um, have to worry about that most around the month of September. That is when um, that is when hurricanes uh, peak here in sunny South Florida. Also, if you're thinking about moving to this area, this area is obviously going to be a little bit more dangerous uh, for hurricanes because we are here on the ocean. There are lots of places in in South Florida that are western. Uh, west of the, of the ocean, let's say places like Royal Palm Beach, Wellington, Westin, Florida, Westlake, Florida, Loxahatchee. There are lots of places there, uh, lots of places there that are, are a little bit further west where the threat of a hurricane is still there. But if a hurricane were to come from here, by the time it gets about, you know, 10, 15, 20 miles west, the, uh, the effect wouldn't, will, will not be nearly as severe. As I mentioned, some of the richest people on the, uh, the, in the world live on this island. Uh, if you go down this way, actually, is, uh, is Mar Largo. So uh, Mar Largo is the, uh, is the home of, of Donald J. Trump, uh, our, our previous president. And he, uh, they, he's made that into sort of a, um, into sort of, into sort of a club. So you can buy membership into Mar Largo. He bought that thing so long ago. Uh, real from real estate per, uh, pricing wise, he did very well. Um, so some of the rich and famous uh, will go to places such as Mar Largo. There are lots of nice restaurants and country clubs on the island. So um, it's not a crowd I necessarily hang out with, but uh, there is that crowd here. But I like to do one of my favorite things to do in the morning is come and watch the uh, the sunrise here on Palm Beach Island. It's one of the best sunrises we have here in South Florida. So one of the reasons people move down here is uh, is the weather. Let me really briefly uh, tell you how, how the weather works here. We have, um, right now we're in March, April. It's probably one of the nicest time of years to come. We are still experiencing the low humidity that comes with the winter here. And uh, we haven't quite gotten to the summertime yet. Uh, our highs today will probably be about 85, 80, 85 degrees, which is, I, I feel perfect. Um, so we have here in the winter time in like January, which is the coldest month, uh, we will only get up in, the high will only get to about 75, which I know for lots of you people, that's, that's warm. Um, but, uh, we, and we will get down to 50. We, um, that's a typical January and February day. Um, we get a, exactly, on average, 0 0.4 days uh, below freezing each year. So we will get below freezing and in the 30s for a short time uh, each year, but it lasts very short. We have one long dry season and one more wrong, long wet season. When we moved down here 16 years ago, I did not realize how this worked. I, I realized it was gonna be a little bit warmer here, uh, I realized, I didn't realize the severity of the rainy season. We get a lot of rain here uh, in the afternoons in the summertime. After Memorial Day, June, July, and August, September, uh, it will rain most afternoons. Uh, we never get uh, above 95, almost never above 95. It has never been above 100 degrees in the 16 years I've lived here. 
So although people say how hot it is, it actually will never get those severe, the severe heat that you sometimes get in the Northeast and certainly in the, uh, in the de deserts out in like places like Las Vegas. Um, so it's quite a, it's a tropical, it's a tropical um, climate uh, with, with that long um, wet season and then the dry season in the winter time, like right now, um, it almost never rains. We are in a drought and we uh, always seem to be in a drought come March and April and people are asking when, the, when is the rain gonna come? Eventually, trust me, it does come. So if you're thinking about moving to this part of the country, this is not a typical place that I, I, I actually take people. It is just, it's just so unusual. A, it's very seasonal. Um, and B, it's, um, it, the, the price to, for entry in a place like this right here is, uh, is unaffordable for most people. But bear in mind that Palm Beach, Palm Beach as a whole, the Palm Beach area and South Florida whole is very affordable in other areas. And those are the people we like, we tend to help most. So I love bringing my kids to the beach. I love, uh, I love the fact that we're able to do things all year long. That's one of the big benefits about living down here. Um, we have water sports, are, as you can imagine, with the ocean like this, a beautiful ocean like this, are, are quite prevalent here. Um, you'll see it kayaking, you'll see surfing. It's a little bit early for some of that now. Um, we are the boating capital of the world. Uh, we are the fishing capital of the world. If you go to the northern beaches up this way, um, I'm thinking Juno Beach, I'm thinking Jupiter Beach, um, they have some of the best surfing. Uh, I've, if I see, and Tequesta is another one. Uh, if you go up that way, you will see lots of surfing. Um, you, we have kayaking. We don't get a ton of kayaking this way, but up again, up north, up that way, they, uh, they have a lot of people that throw their kayaks in there. I have seen up there um, kids swimming with manatees, believe it or not. Um, it, it's incredible the, 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 the marine life we get here. I remember I, I filming once down this way in, um, on Lake Worth Beach, which is only the next town down, that they had to call everyone out of the ocean because yes, we will get sharks in that ocean. So uh, we have uh, guarded areas where the, um, where the lifeguards um, uh, keep an eye on stuff like that. But in a nutshell, this is the, um, the we get to do things all year long. In January and February, when people are um, hibernating in places such as New York and New Jersey and Chicago, and uh, in Ohio and Indianapolis, all those places. We are out here um, enjoying sports. We can play baseball, softball, soccer. Uh, all those outdoor sports are available to us all year long. One of the things that people appreciate about this area too, if you're a traveler, um, Palm Beach is a home of uh, just west of uh, Palm Beach, is uh, West Palm Beach, is home of one of the best airports uh, really to get in and out anywhere in the country. It's, uh, it's, it's, they have a cell phone lot. You can wait for your guests or your, your family members your, and so forth to pick them up. It's really easy to get in and out. It's just, uh, it's just west of us this way. Um, so if you do a lot of traveling, if you do a lot of traveling and you, uh, you're traveling to places like Los Angeles, uh, Dallas, Fort Worth, Atlanta, those big hubs or, or anywhere really around the country, um, this is a great place to live. So a lot of people have remote jobs now, but if people are people who, who want to live down here and do a lot of travel, this is one of the best places around the country to consider due to the Palm Beach International Airport being one of the nicest airports I know of in the country. What you'll find is that people in the morning here in Florida, I find in general that people in Florida are, are into their fitness and so forth. And you'll see this time of morning, like early morning, six o'clock, uh, five, six o'clock in the morning, uh, people will hit the beach, check out the brilliant sunrise. You can see down there, there's some people doing yoga on the beach. We will see people walking and jogging up and down the beach. So uh, I find that uh, before the day gets going here in Florida, um, and if you go to the streets, there'll be rollerblading and all that kind of stuff. Um, people, before the day gets going here, people will get their fitness in here in sunny South Florida. Here's one of the things that uh, we're sort of famous for too. We see a lot of this, we see more of this up in uh, Juno Beach and Jupiter Beach, but right here. They, uh, they, they, they sort of rope that off for, this is where they have uh, uh, sea turtle nesting. Uh, this area in general, especially the northern part of the county, uh, we are the largest population of, uh, of sea turtles and uh, they protect their nests 
um, just so that they could, uh, you know, they can, they you know, so they, they have a chance to live. So what will happen is they're, when they're ready to hatch, their little eggs that are under there, they, these little creatures will get up and just start walk off into the distance and start their life here in Palm Beach. So now I'm on a different part of, uh, of, of the beach here on Palm Beach Island. Uh, this is a famous landmark. This is called the, uh, the Clock Tower. Um, we are basically at, this is Ocean Boulevard. So this is the, the road along Palm Beach. And uh, here, you know, in the mornings, you could uh, park for free until eight o'clock. So after that, you have meters. And, uh, and that, so right now people are, are doing their thing before at sunrise, but uh, that'll all change. People will come here for the beach uh, sh in, in short order uh, just to hang out. Right now you're just getting the, uh, the sunrise people. But um, yeah, and that's one of the landmarks and it is also on the corner of one of the most famous streets in Palm Beach, which is called Worth Avenue. So Worth Avenue is one of, is the, um, it's it's like the it's like the Fifth Avenue of Palm Beach. It's like um, in LA you have the, the you have Rodeo Drive. Well, that's what you have in here in uh, in Palm Beach. It's it's Worth Avenue. So you can find many uh, high end shops on the on this street. Um, the, the the talk is if you if you really made it and you're ultra rich, you will send your uh, your servants uh, here to go shopping for you. But you will have a lot of high end a lot of high end realtor uh, re realtors not realtors, re, uh, realty stores, that's funny. Um, realty stores, such as we have Gucci coming up, and there's a, there's, a, there's a little shopping plaza called Esplanade, which houses a lot of these uh, boutiques and shops and so forth. Right now I'm walking right down the middle of, Lake, of, of um, Worth Avenue. Um, you're not usually able to do this, but because it's so early in the morning, um, it's, easy, it's easy enough to do. So here I'm going to go into the entrance uh, off the street of uh, Esplanade. Uh, you'll see some high-end stuff here. Um, here is uh, worth having you yachts. So if you're in the market for a high-end yacht, not that I would know, this is uh, this is a place you can go. Um, I love this place in Christmas time. Uh, they we get a big crowd here on on Palm Beach Island during the Christmas season. In fact, right along Worth Avenue here, we, they do a, uh, a, a tree lighting. It's one of the most famous tree light lightings in the area. And this staircase here will be all decked out with, um, with uh, Christmas stuff. They put a Christmas tree here and they, they decorate the railings and, uh, and they make it look quite, quite festive. It's one of the best places to check out uh, during the Christmas season. So right now I'm walking down uh, Worth Avenue and it's, uh, it's so early that there's really not much uh, tra traffic on here. But uh, during the day, you will see, uh, during the day, the, this place would be crowded, especially, uh, especially during the season. So here we have a pretty popular uh, intersection here in Palm Beach. Uh, this is the Worth Avenue's this way. And uh, over here is South County. I'm on my, this right here is South County Road. Um, so if you're going north to south in, on Palm Beach Island, this is one of the more popular streets. Worth Avenue is like the who's who in terms of high-end retail stores. I've got, to, I've got to mention this place here. Um, this is one of my favorite restaurants on the island. It's, uh, it's called Taboo. It's actually so, so early it's, it's closed, but um, if you would think on Worth Avenue in, in Palm Beach that this would be extremely expensive. Um, I can go there and look at the menu, but I don't need to. I know I've, I've been there often enough. It actually is very reasonable and that's fine. If you're in the area and you're looking for a restaurant to go to uh, on Palm Beach Island, I would definitely consider Taboo on Worth Avenue 
on Palm Beach Island. So one of the things I like about Worth Avenue, we can walk down the street and it looks, it looks pretty, I mean, it's, it's beautiful, but it looks pretty, uh, some, to a certain degree, ordinary. They have several places where they have these, I call them like little alleys and, and hidden, hidden treasures, really. Um, places like here. You have Lily Pulitzer here, and they have several of these little alleys that lead to uh, several other shops. It makes, it makes this area just that much more, that, that, that much more interesting. If you're walking on the street, uh, you wouldn't even know this, this place exists. <laughs> there's also some, uh, some really nice restaurants you can find back here as well. On the other side of the street, there's Beach A. Um, Beach A is a nice restaurant. It's, um, they have one in New York I used to go to fairly often when I lived in New York City. Um, but there's lots of nice restaurants here in general on Palm Beach Island. Um, you know, they don't have a lot of your ordinary restaurants. They have a lot of, you know, one-of-a-kind type restaurants here on Palm Beach Island. In terms of uh, Palm Beach real estate, Palm Beach Island real estate, what's sort of funny about how they operate here, we have a realty board uh, in Palm Beach. It's called the uh, the Palm Beach, uh, the Realty Board of the Palm Beaches and Greater Fort Lauderdale um, Board. That actually, our board goes from uh, basically Broward County, which is where Fort Lauderdale is, all the way up through, um, all the way up north to, to Port St. Lucie. But this island here uh, has, it has its own board. It's like that's so it's so unique. Um, what I find is people who who go here, people who um, want to, to to live here. We have a lot of people that buy condos. Um, so that's something that if you're interested in finding out more about that, reach out to our team. Um, this single family homes is not really something you could do here. I mean, unless you have a budget of five to ten million dollars, um, that's uh, this that's how expensive that's how expensive this island is. But we do see a lot of people who buy condos, especially people who want to buy second homes um, in an area where you can just walk out onto the beach and enjoy life as if you're living seven Saturdays. So this is the corner of um, Hibiscus and, uh, and Worth Avenue. Now this is where they, they do the, every year at Christmas time, they put the, uh, the Christmas tree up there. Um, it's on the corner right in front of uh, Tiffany's here. So you'll see. Uh, this is a, this will all the Christmas time. This will all be decked out, and as I mentioned, they have the one of the nicest uh, tree lighting ceremonies right here on this corner at Christmas time here on Palm Beach Island. Living on Palm Beach Island, one of the most unique places in the entire world. Mm -hmm.